If you can work your microwave, you can program the remote for your motorized shades. Today, I'm going to show you just how easy it is. Whether you're programming your remote to change factory defaults, add shades, whatever, you'll hear a series of beeps to let you know the antenna on the shade is receiving signals from the remote. It's a good idea to keep any background noise to a minimum and to stand as close to the shade as possible so you hear them. The first step to setting up and using the remote is to insert the battery that came with it. Just slide off the back cover like this and put it in, making sure the positive side faces the back of the remote. Your remote control has five buttons. Up, stop, down, channel increase, channel decrease. If you've put the battery in right, the indicator light at the top of the remote should appear red when you push the stop button. Your remote can operate up to five shades using one channel per shade. The five indicator lights tell you which channel you're operating, starting with channel one at the top, then two, three, four, and five at the bottom. The remote comes pre-programmed to operate on channel one. To change the channel you're operating, press the channel increase button or the channel decrease button. Your remote also comes pre-programmed with top and bottom stop limits. When raising your shade, the top limit stops at about two inches from the bottom of the cassette. When it's lowered, the shade stops at a bottom limit of about 96 inches from the cassette. If you want to change the top and bottom limits, make sure the remote is set to channel 1 to delete the factory preset limits. Using a straightened paper clip or other small pointy object, press the programming button on the back of the remote. The fabric on the shade will move or jog and the motor will beep. Press the down button. The fabric will jog and the motor will beep again. Now press the programming button again. The fabric will jog and the motor will beep another four times. You've now deleted the preset top and bottom limits. Next, you're going to put the shade into limit setting mode. With the remote still on channel one, press the programming button. The fabric will jog and the motor will beep. Press the up button. The fabric will jog and the motor will beep. Press the programming button again. The fabric will jog and the motor will beep another four times. Using the remote, bring your shade to a stop at the desired top position. Press and hold the stop button for three seconds. The motor will beep four times, the fabric will jog, then you'll hear one more beep. To set the bottom limit, use the remote to bring your shade to a stop at the desired position. Press and hold the stop button for three seconds. The motor will beep four times, the fabric will jog, then the motor will beep one more time. Now I'm going to show you how to program your remote to operate more than one shade. Decide which remote and which shade will be your primary shade and remote. It's a good idea to mark your remotes with a simple one and two, so you don't get them mixed up and you know which remote goes with which shade. Your primary shade will be set to channel one, You'll add any other shades to channel 2, 3, 4, or 5. Place your primary remote on channel 2 first, and set your secondary remote on channel 1. On the secondary remote, press the programming button once. The motor will beep, and the fabric will jog. Press it again. The motor will beep, and the fabric will jog. Now take the primary remote, and press the programming button once. The fabric will jog, and the motor will beep several times to confirm the frequency has copied over. If you need to add any more shades to your primary remote, repeat these same steps. However, use the remote included with each individual shade as your secondary remote. You should now be able to control your primary shade on channel 1 and your secondary shade on channel 2 of your primary remote. You can also operate both shades simultaneously by highlighting all five channels on your remote. To do this, click the channel increase button until you see all five indicator lights illuminated. Now, use the up or down button to operate all shades that have been programmed to your primary remote. If you have any questions or need more help programming your remote, please refer to the programming instructions provided with your shade and on our website, or give our customer care team a call. We're here to help.